I am actually like weirdly frustrated discussing this sort of stuff with the left. Like mm -hmm. they think that they think that there is no qualitative normative difference yeah. between a training a terrorist to get back a prisoner and be killing terrorists to get a prisoner. Right. They think there's no difference there. And they think there's also no qualitative or normative difference between a soldier who was captured in the course of duty, who was wounded mm -hmm. and taken prisoner by the Taliban or Al-Qaeda or right. whoever, and a soldier who literally walked off base and got high on, you know, whatever, and stumbled into a Taliban stronghold. And, and may have and, uh, and may have collaborated. Look, we I, don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't uh, want to get but He like, should probably stand some sort of tr uh, court martial. He, he probably won't. If he deserted, look, if I, I'm on record uh, saying this on, on, on in writing, so this isn't a, a new thing, but if he deserted, and if as a result of that desertion, multiple Americans died trying to rescue him, and if as a result of that desertion, we had to give up five Al-Qaeda aligned war criminals to get him back, right. he should be executed for his desertion. Like right. I, like I, I, there's, and now the problem is proving I mean, desertion is very hard, and you know, they're. Yeah. And maybe he's. We haven't maybe, executed anyone since, for that what, since World War II. Yeah, and, and, and you know what? And we shouldn't execute people for desertion very frequently. Uh, but these are, I think, there's a lot of extenuating circumstances here.